Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. I got three heavy hitters with me today. The newly released iPhone 11 Pro, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and the Pixel 3. I'm here in Niagara Falls, so let's see what these cameras are capable of. Okay, let me just say this right now. If you're expecting a super detailed camera comparison, this ain't it. All right, let's head over to the falls and test my photography skills. I almost forgot, Spigen was kind enough to send me some cases and this really cool screen protector. I actually need one, so let's go ahead and install this. Let's go ahead and start with a selfie. Okay, so this next shot was pretty tough. I was standing in the shade, but the background was super bright. Now, to make things even harder, I took some photos with the sun directly behind me. And these are the results. Props to the Pixel 3 for the extra wide lens. Comes in real handy for those group selfies. Interesting. Moving on to some portrait shots with that nice blurry background. Everyone likes a good bokeh, right? These all were taken in good lighting conditions and they all did a pretty good job. Next up, we have some samples without the portrait mode. First one is under some shade and the other two under pretty bright conditions. I didn't shoot much video, but here's a few shots with the front-facing camera using my crazy setup. Yeah, everyone was staring at me. So this is what the front-facing camera looks like when recording video in 1080p across three devices. I'm just going to start walking at a normal pace so that you guys can get an idea of what stabilization is like. Alright, let's speed things up. I'm going to start sprinting. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, people are looking at me like I'm crazy. You see, situations like this this is when you would need an ultra wide. I was really tempted to hop on the Ferris wheel to get some good shots, but couldn't because of my fear of heights. Maybe next time. The Pixel 3, unfortunately, doesn't have an ultra wide angle lens. How about some 4K video footage to really capture that atmosphere? So, yeah, welcome to Jurassic Park. All right, let's look at some more photos. Yeah, ignore my goofiness. These are just normal photos I would take when I'm out and about with my husband. This one here is of me through a window. I was honestly just curious how the phones would handle the reflections. Next up, we got a giant ice cream cone looking super delicious, I know. Here's one of me pondering life as I stare at the falls. 
for my foodies out there, don't worry, I got you. Yes, I take pictures of my food before I eat it. So there's nothing I enjoy more than free Wi-Fi when traveling. But little did I know, I was putting my security at risk. The good news, VPNs are a great way to protect yourself. With a VPN enabled, all the data you send and receive travels through an encrypted tunnel so no one can get their hands on your private info. As a Canadian, we don't get a lot of the good stuff that's available in the US. Check this out. If I want the internet to think I'm in the US, all it takes is a single click. Japan, no problem. This unlocks region-specific content from entertainment libraries like Netflix and ensures you keep access to your favorite websites plus content when traveling abroad. NordVPN is compatible with most operating systems and offers 24-7 customer support. Unhappy with the service? No hard feelings. They offer a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. Click the link below and get NordVPN for just the cost of a cup of coffee per month. You'll get a three-year plan plus one month free by entering the code TAO. All right, time for some low light shots. Each phone has their own night mode. The iPhones, however, automatically turns on. And because of this, all photos from here on were shot handheld with night mode on the Pixel 3 and Note 10 Plus. And who says you can't use iPads to take pictures? Look at that, so cute. The 11 Pro and Pixel 3 both have some sort of visual countdown to let you know how long it's going to take to capture the photo, whereas the Note 10 Plus doesn't, and you're just left there guessing. A couple of other points, there's no night mode on the 11 Pro selfie camera or the ultra wide lens. So for this ultra wide shot, I took a regular photo on the Note 10 Plus to compare. Let's wrap things up. We can sit here and nitpick at the samples. Oh, this is a little overexposed or that photo's too grainy. But in all honesty, I was impressed with all three cameras. They were all able to capture the memory and should be more than good enough to post on social media. The iPhone 11 Pro captures natural looking photos. The Pixel goes for a more contrasty and moody feel, while the Note 10 Plus tends to brighten and add a bit more saturation. Really though, you can't go wrong with any of these. The Pixel 3 lacks a telephoto and ultra wide lens, which means it's not as versatile. I really hope that the Pixel 4 has an ultra wide. It's just so much fun to use. And that's how it's done.